This video is meant for the educational purpose. Please ensure you understand the step before using any script. The goal is to help you to learn how to complete the lab effectively while following the quick lab turns and services and YouTube community guidelines. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. In this video, I am going to guide you through the process to complete this lab and help you to understand each step. First. Log in with your quick lab credentials and once done with that, in the description box of this video, I have shared the GitHub link which will help you to automate some tasks over here. However, I will recommend you to follow along and understand what each command does so you can learn the process effectively. I will encourage to open and review the script to understand each step. So first of all, just let me scroll down over here and from here just let me open this link in incognito window over here. This will activate your cloud shell. So just let me wait for that. And it's finally done. Now just simply come back over here and from here you can see this curl command. So we have to just simply download the GitHub file from your GitHub to our cloud shell. So for that we have to just simply run this command. So just simply copy this, come back, paste, hit enter like this way. Now we have to make this file executable. So for that just simply copy this command, copy this, come back over here, paste, hit enter. Okay. Now we have to run this file. So just simply copy this command, come back, paste, hit enter. Now once you run this command, you can see it's asking for the region. For that, just me come back to the lab instructions and click on the task number 5. Just me scroll down over here and from here you can see this region. So just me copy this, come back, paste, hit enter. Wait for a second and then just me click on this authorize button over here. Now this command will take a couple of minutes. Meanwhile, what we'll do, we will perform the next task. So just me come back to the GitHub repo, scroll down and from here you can see Firestore. So just me open this link in incognito window. Again, come back, then just me open this dialog flow console again in incognito window, like this way. Okay, now just me come back over here, wait for a second, click on this create database over here. Okay, make sure that it must be native mode. Now just me click on this continue. Okay, now scroll down for the location type, just me choose a region and from here just me choose this region. Now if we just me compare this region with your lab instruction page, you can see both the regions are same. Okay, now just me click on this create database over here. It will take a couple of seconds. Meanwhile, what you'll do, we have to create a collection. For that, just me copy this collection ID, copy this, come back over here. Just me wait for a couple of seconds. And it's finally done. Then just me click on the start collection over here like this way. Now for the collection ID, just me paste the ID which you just copy. This one. Now for the document ID, just me type 100 over here like this way. Now for the field name, just me scroll down, copy this name, come back and paste over here. Okay. Now for the field value, just me copy this, come back and paste like this way. Then click on this add field, scroll down, then copy this last name and paste over here as a field name. Then copy this name, come back and paste over here as a field value. Again, click on this add field. Now for the field name, just me copy this and paste over here like this way. Okay, so we are done with all these things. Just me click on the save button over here. So you are done with the 90% of the lab. Now what here do, just me come back to the dialog flow over here. Click on the checkbox over here and then click on this accept over here. First of all, we have to create an agent. So just me click on this create agent over here. Now for the agent name, just me click on the task number one, scroll down and from here you can see this name. So just me copy this name, come back and paste. Okay. Now here you can see default time zone. Just me click over here and from here you have to just me look for the minus seven. You can see GMT minus seven, America, Denver. So just me choose this. From here just me choose your project ID. That's the thing that you had to do. Now just me click on this create button over here. Now it will take a couple of seconds. Meanwhile what you had to do, just me come back to the GitHub repo, scroll down and from here you can see this click here download file. So just me open this file in new tab over here. Just me wait. Okay. Now you have to just me download this file to a local system. You can just me click on this download button over here like this way and it will download to a local system. Now come back over here and here you can see agent is created. Just me click on this gear icon over here like this way. Then just me click on this export and import over here and then click on this import from zip. Now you have to just simply upload the file which you just downloaded. So click over here and just me go to your path and upload that file like this way. Wait for a second. Okay, now here just me type import in capital and then click on this import. 
so it's loading and it's done now the last thing that you have to do just me click on this integrations over here then just me choose the dialog flow phone gateway that's the thing that you have to choose now just me click on this next then just me click on this create button over here that's it okay just me wait and it's done now if you just may come back to the live instructions and click on the check my progress for each and every task you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated for any particular task no need to worry wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score on this lab without any issue so as you can see for these two tasks we are not getting a score okay but if you just may come back to the dashboard over here and from here you can see both the commands are still running and that's the reason we didn't get a score over here so once this command executed properly then we will get a score now just may wait for to this command get executed and it's finally done now if you just may come back over here and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue as i said we have to just may wait for this command get execute and it's done and that's the way we have to come to this lab i hope you guys like the way i saw this lab if you still have any doubts any question please do let me in the comment section i will answer those question and clear your doubts thanks for watching and have a good day guys remember this video is for educational purpose Please make sure you understand the step and follow the quick lab terms and services and YouTube community guidelines.